This is Jim Williams with the Hurricane City Tropical Update video for June 25th, 9 p.m. Here's the water vapor loop of the Atlantic Basin. Two systems are uh, on the map here. We have Tropical Depression number one north of Honduras, and we have Invest 94L out here northeast of the Leeward Islands that's getting shredded by upper level winds. We have a high pressure system aloft right over our developing system here, and that allows the inflow to uh, make it into the system and the outflow in the upper levels, and it fans the clouds out and allows the system to develop. So this is a textbook system, and it wouldn't surprise me if this became a strong tropical storm before it made landfall in the Yucatan Peninsula. And again, this system out here, strong upper level winds, southwest wind shear shredding 94L so that we do not expect much out of this system. So all focus is on newly formed tropical depression number one. And here is the floater loop of our system. Big blow up of convection down here right near the center of circulation. And it's heading in the general direction of the Yucatan Peninsula. And we do have the uh, number six on my list of high risk cities this year is Punta Allen, Mexico, which is right in here. And this is heading in that general direction. So one of the cities in my database will be knocked off the list uh, from my city picks that I made on June 1st. Put to Allen, Mexico will probably be our feature tomorrow if this trend continues. All right, the hurricane hunters were out there today. There's the vortex message. Uh, the hurricane hunters uh, fly out there when there's a disturbance or a, or a storm or hurricane, and they take data by dropping drop zones in the middle of the storm. And what they found out there today was a system that was relatively weak, uh, 1,004 millibars, 26 knot winds. Uh, but it is strengthening and getting better organized as the night goes on. So uh, they'll be out there again tomorrow investigating. We'll have it up at, at HurricaneCity.tv. All right, the, here's the uh, tropical storm force wind potential from the National Hurricane Center. Out in the spill zone here, right now we're only talking about a 5% chance of tropical storm force winds affecting this area. But this may shift to the right if the model data pans out. There, I'll get to the models in just a second. And here are some of the models from the Hurricane City tracking map. And the GFDL and the H4 for the outliers here, taking this near the Florida Panhandle is a strong tropical storm. And keep in mind, the GFDL model did a very good job with Katrina back in 2005 when it was a depression out here. It uh, had an average year of about 165 miles uh, as it uh, came down here and went right up into the uh, near Louisiana, uh, near New Orleans rather. And uh, the GFDL pretty much nailed that track uh, compared to some of the other models out there. So we do need to pay attention to the GFDL model. Now the other good model is the European model, and that takes it near South Texas as a weak tropical storm, and uh, as well as the Canadian model. And uh, there, there's, a, there's a split in the models, and I'll get to the details on that in just a second. Only one storm in history developed right around this date in this grid. And this happened back in 1886, and it became a hurricane and headed off to the northeast. So that's only one data set we have to work with. So it's not etched in stone that this is going northeast, but there's a possibility of that. And again, the ships are out there working in the spill zone. They may have to evacuate these. Uh, Tiny, our observer from the message board, uh, alerted me that they're placing uh, containers down on the bottom of the uh, bed of the Gulf of Mexico, and they're going to be uh, releasing dispersants from those tanks. Uh, because they expect the spill to continue for quite some time, and they're going to have to probably leave the site uh, if the winds pick up the tropical storm force. So we'll uh, have to monitor that closely. All right, now here is the uh, Chris's Tropical Atlantic uh, tracking map where you can pick whatever models you want to choose. And right now I have chosen the BAM, B-A-M-M -M model, the D-S-H-P, which is the ship model, the LGEM model and these models are the most accurate models going out four days so far on this system and they're bo both showing this uh, heading in the general direction of Texas so the best performing models are having it going towards Texas however if you uh, uh, remove these models off of the map and, and you focus on uh, all the models here on the right hand side of this tracking map um, which we, we gathered 29 models and, and what I did is took all the models that are actually very close to land or making landfall at, at um, it, going out uh, five or ten days from now and that's only 29 models out of all the other models that are listed there and out of the 29 65 percent of them have it going uh, 
from this line east and only 34 percent have it going from this line west so two-thirds of the models right now are indicating that this is going to be somewhere affecting the spill zone in about uh, five days or so from now so it, there's there is a, a footnote on that even though the best performing models have it going this way the consensus amongst all the models is it's going to be east of the Louisiana Texas line in the end here so we'll have to keep track on that and I'll have more updates on this tomorrow morning uh, with another update video on tropical depression number one that may be Alex by then that's it for now thank you again for visiting Hurricane City